Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Tuplex. I've gotten a second copper line set up. Um, I'm just using, I'm using steel furnaces here. You'll notice I only put in half as many. Uh, that's because I still have red or yellow belts everywhere. And uh, the crafting speed of the steel furnace is two versus one for the stone furnace. So if you use steel furnaces with yellow belts in and out, then you only need 12 per side to fill the belts. Um, once we upgrade all of this to red belts, then we'll need to put in the whole line of furnaces. But for now, this makes it a little bit easier. Uh, this is where I was making the furnaces. Uh, let me grab some more stone brick and we can give it another go. We'll need about uh, 100, 120 or so. And that'll give us another 10. Not a lot, but you know, it's less hand crafting we have to do later. Okay, so let's start making blue science packs. Um, we already have two of the ingredients that we need on the bus. The third ingredient are engine units. So let's start getting that made. Oh, and by the way, I did um, I did finish loading my armor. Uh, I do need batteries, however, before I'll be able to get the night vision working since uh, we won't be generating any power at night. But at least during the daytime, the belt immunity works. As you can see, I can stand on a belt and I don't move, which makes it a little bit easier to build things. And... Oh, and the energy shield. And I think the energy shield will stay charged at night. I think it just won't, I just think it won't recharge uh, unless I have electricity. So I'm going to grab a little bit of brick here so I can extend the bus. Or the path, rather. Okay, and we'll build engines over here. I'm going to refer to my calculator here to see what's the minimum quantity that I need. So at a minimum, I need 13.4 blue assemblers making engines. 14, so uh, let's double that and we'll, we'll set up 28. Okay, and those are going to need steel, gears, and pipes. So let's see what would be the best way to do this. Let's say these are going to be engines. I'm going to need two belts for the steel, the gears, and the pipes. And these take 10 seconds each. So probably what I could do is I could have a gear machine and I could have a pipe machine. And we could put the gears on the outside of that belt. We can put the pipes on the inside of that belt. And we can feed them with iron there. Right, I think that'll work. Okay, and then we can have the engines here. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And I think this roboport might cause me trouble. Let's see. No, I'll, yeah, this will be fine. All 
right? And then we'll feed them like this from those two belts. <clears throat> and then that outside belt, we can, we can bring in steel. Okay, and a few lights. Okay, and then we just need to connect it. All right, let's get iron brought down here. Uh, I think my iron belt is down here somewhere. Yeah, here they are. And we'll need steel as well, so let's... I'll skip that third one, I guess, for now. I think by the time I add the third iron line, I'll want to do it with red belts anyway. Okay, so iron goes there, and then steel, we need to come down right there. Okay, let's see if this works. And if it does, then we'll mirror it on the other side. So far, so good. Now this makes, oh, you know what? I might need more pipe than that. This makes uh, two a second. And this, okay, that makes two a second too. And these take two pipes every 10 seconds times 14. That's 28. I need 2.8 per second on the pipes. All right, so I'm going to need, I'm going to need another, I'm going to need another pipe maker here. All right, so let's slide. All right, let's make that pipes. No, let's see. Okay. So not exactly how I wanted it, but it, I guess it doesn't really matter if they're not quite symmetrical. Ooh, out of inserters. Let's go grab some more. Uh, yellow inserters. Let's get more reds too. You know, we should make this two stacks. I do use a lot of red inserters. I think more than, um, probably more than the average player. Um, I just, I just grown to like feeding two belts, um, with two rows of, I'll do it this way, or actually, Okay, now that's kind of ugly. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. Let's just line them up. Even if it's going to end up using more power poles than we have to. Anyway, I was saying I've, I've kind of grown to like this sort of configuration for feeding a machine from two belts. Um, I see some of the speedrunners do this, like Nephrums and Anti-Elites. 
And uh, I don't know why I like it, but I just do. It's certainly very quick to set up. I think that's why they do it that way. Okay, and then we're gonna essentially mirror the same thing on this side. Right, and I'm making lots of extra engines because we're gonna need engines for making bots and um, yeah, for bots, essentially. <laughs> Uh, eventually we'll we'll use them to make trains and stuff too but um, right now I think the main the main reason we'll need extra engines is to make robots I'd like to start doing that pretty soon oh, and then we need these two rows out here So then I'll go there, that goes like that. And that goes like that. That goes in there, that goes in there. Okay, and then we want two going out and one going out, right? All right, and that should go there, actually. Okay. Oops. Okay, and then more lights. Great. And now I just need to bring down iron and steel again. Actually, let's make things a little bit easier for ourselves. And I'll just copy all that. Minus the RoboPort. Okay. Um, I'm just adding the the splitter here. Since this is going to be draining some iron, uh, this will help bring some down from this top belt. Whoops, wrong way. Okay. Um, I don't think I assigned engines to the bus. I did not. So I'll just put them below the stone. Let's grab some more belt and we'll extend all that down. And I'll grab half of that, half of that. Let's grab more reds. Oh, and I should get more assemblers. Oh, I have 28, that should be enough. Okay, I think that's far enough for now. Okay, so I'm actually going to send the engines like in both directions. Why is this not working? Crud. <laughs> Got 
these reversed. Son of a biscuit. Okay, well, let's fix that. It's not the end of the world. Uh, hmm. Okay, this will be tricky. I know what we can do. There. Okay, and then I just have to drain these belts. Oh man, that's a lot of iron. That went in the wrong place. Looks like it's all iron now, and I'm full, so I will try to get his, get rid of some of the steel. Let's get rid of some iron. Okay, and here comes the steel. There we go. All right, perfect. Okay. Now the rest of these science packs are gonna be pretty easy. Okay. Let's get rid of these trees. Okay. Um, now these make two per cycle. I need 12 machines making blue science packs because it's two per cycle, 24 seconds per cycle. Right, and we don't even need much room for this. One, two, let's see what side of the belt do we want these to go on. Actually, we'll want to bring them down like this. Okay, so I'm going to clear all these military science packs. We're going to switch sides on this belt. Yeah, see my belt immunity is not working now. Because I've got no power. We'll make batteries soon, and then that'll that problem will go away. Alright, so let's get rid of those. Okay, good. And then we'll have blue on the other side. Alright, so we can bring the science packs down this way, I suppose. Okay, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, this needs to go up this way. And again, two belts. Since we have three items, we have to feed it. Let's see if we can do better than this. 
terms of power pole use. Okay. Okay, so three red circuits, one solid fuel, two engines. Cripes. Okay, that's not a problem. We can do this. All right, so let's do the engines and solid fuel on this belt. And I'm not I'm not using any splitters for the engines right now just because this is the only use I have for them um, but once we need the engines for something else then we'll go ahead and take care of that all right let's put that there let's put that there and we need to get red circuits yeah, this is going to get ugly. Um, yeah, I think that's the only place I can put a splitter. Let's see. And that's as far as the underground can go for solid fuel. The problem is here. <laughs> okay, here, let's do this. No, it's got to be like that. Okay, well, that's okay. I don't think we need to send blue circuits this way. Uh, okay, and this... come up here yeah and actually let's let's do the same with both of these extra engines, get rid of the solid fuel, and we should be getting blue science packs out the other side. Awesome, finally. So, personal roboport, advanced oil, what do we want to do next? Advanced electronics. Um, I, I'm happy with personal roboports. Let's do that now. Oh, crud. All right. You're kidding me. Boy, I really screwed that up, didn't I? Um, I need to get this on the other side of the belt. Let's 
It's kind of silly. But, um, yeah, I miscalculated that. Alright, so, not the most... Not the most optimum build, but uh, it'll work, at least. There, now it'll be on the side of the belt that it can get down. Okay, there we go. Uh, we have a little bit of time left. Let's start making some sulfuric acid. Actually, I'm gonna craft, no I'm not. Need more steel. All right, I'm gonna make one more chemical plant. And I already have a tank. Okay, so sulfuric acid. Well, first we need to make sulfur. Uh, which is made from water and petroleum. And then the acid is made from sulfur, water, and iron. All right, so I usually set it up like this. Okay, personal robo ports are done. Uh, we could do, yeah, we might as well do advanced oil. Um, <clears throat> when we start doing that, we're gonna get, well, we'll research it. I don't know if I wanna switch over to it yet. Cause when we do that, we're gonna start getting less solid fuel. And right now I kind of want the solid fuel. So I'll, I'll keep it like that for now. Um, I need an offshore pump so we can bring water up there. And then I think what we'll do is we'll pump the We'll pump the acid onto the bus so that we can make batteries um, in the regular production area rather than over here. Ah, one more pipe. Okay, and then we need to get iron plates down here. All right, we got that done. Um, there's nothing really here that I feel like we need more than the other. Let's do, let's do mining productivity. Now there's been a change recently Rather than all these multiple levels of mining productivity, you've essentially got one level of productivity per tier. Um, this will give us a 10% increase in productivity, but you can see that the science cost is <laughs> much higher. It's a thousand science packs now. Um, so I wanna get that started soon. Mining productivity is one of those upgrades that um, 
I think is, is really beneficial to get started right away. The sooner you start it, the sooner you'll finish it. And uh, the sooner you finish it, the sooner you'll be able to reap the benefits. All right, so we'll bring the iron plates down here. I'll leave a little gap there for the for this line of copper to come out. There we go. And then we'll start getting the acid. There, we'll just move those poles slightly. <clears throat> okay, wonderful. And then we'll pipe this over to the main bus. Let's see, I think we can come up this way. Like that. And of course that's gonna be directly in the way. Oh, no, it's not. Good. All right, so let's get a little bit of battery production started up. We'll do that next to the engines. I need more chemical plants, so I'll grab those from the mall. At least I think Batteries are, yeah, batteries are made in chemical plants. And that way I'll be able to make a few batteries for my armor. I'll just get one stack. Actually, let me check my cheat sheet. How much battery do I need? Two. Yeah, it says I need two, so I'll do like six. And the batteries just take iron plate, copper plate, and the acid. So I think I'll just six. Oh, let's do 10. One, two, three. Okay. So these will all be batteries. I'll probably run these up on the bus too. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where we need them first. Okay. All right. So we'll do one there. We'll do one here. and iron here. Go. All right, 
and then I'll just split it. To run it down the other side. One more. Yeah, the other belt's in the wrong place too, actually. This needs to be shifted one over. Okay. some more belts. There. Okay. And now I can grab a bunch of batteries and... I can craft two of those personal batteries, which I thoughtfully left room for. And then uh, we'll be able to charge. Hopefully these batteries will last at least long enough to power our night vision goggles during the night. 10 kilowatts, it says. And I'm, I'm not even sure how much these batteries hold. Um, 20 megajoules. Twenty megajoules feeding 10 kilowatts. Oh, 110 kilowatts. That built immunity takes up a lot of power, apparently. Well, we'll see. Uh, we're starting to charge anyway. So I think we've got a decent amount of solar panels. Um, I can also make a personal RoboPort, which I will make now. And we'll start charging that up. Um, I don't think I want to lose any solar panels, so maybe I'll get rid of the energy shield to use the RoboPort. I hope I don't regret that. That's going to take some time to charge up. Um, and then in the next episode, we can, we can start making some robots. Now with one RoboPort, I can only run 10 bots. So I could always, I don't know, maybe I'll take out the night vision too so that I can have more bots under my command. But uh, we'll see, now that we've got engines and stuff. Uh, construction bots take flying robot frames. Flying robot frames take batteries and electric engines. And the electric engines are just regular engines plus lubricant and circuits. So those are easy to make. We already have the lubricant. We'll bring the lubricant down the bus too, next to the acid. Um, so yeah, I think we'll I think we'll get into that in the next episode. We'll start we'll start making some robots. Um, I'm showing that there is a ghosted item somewhere. At least I was. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's the RoboPort, of course. Can I make RoboPorts? Yeah, I should be able to. Yep, I just need lots of steel gears and red circuits. In fact, I should set that up over here in the mall. Um, I'll bring a belt of red circuits, I think, down the other... Oh yeah, right over here is where those red circuits need to go. Let's do that. Let's do that now before we finish. I know I'm already way over time, but I don't care. <laughs> No, I do care. Um, hmm. 
That's why my circuits are only on one side of the belt. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, yeah, so I'll set up a little something to make roboports over here, and we can start placing those around the base. And um, I will see you guys next time. Thanks a lot for watching, as always. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.